Can I beat Elden Ring at level 1? That is a question I never thought I would be able to say yes to. And this is a video that I never thought I would even make. Uh, which is cool. But uh, I do understand that this video is long. But it contains most most of the stuff I collected and did to beat each boss. Um, I did try to capture every, nearly every boss animation and full fights. So there's that. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the content that I've been making. Uh, my name is Obsolete Onion, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. It's too easy. So, we're doing so to start things off, I first need to pick a character, uh, which is the Wretch, which is the only true level 1, because he has 10 Vigor, 10 Mind, 10 Endurance. All the stats across the board are 10, which makes him level 1. And pretty much, I just have to stay level 1 this entire run. And there it is, I'm dead. <laughs> Once in Limgrave, I then get the first side of grace, the first step, the Church of Ella side of grace, and then I go to Gatefront. At Gatefront, I then get Torrent and make my way up to Stormhill Shack, where you can talk to this one lady, which actually gives you a jellyfish summon. I was unable to use the Jellyfish Summon because I didn't have the Spirit Calling Bell, but we do get it later on in the storyline for free from Ronnie. Go ahead and summon into this dude. I will allow summons just because I don't know how far I'll get without summons. I'm not even gonna lie. That's a hit right on his forehead. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, 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 no. It's a smack. How did. What? How did that hit me? Someone, please explain. Smack him in the face. He's angry. You didn't have his morning coffee? Oh god! That was scary. Whoa, buddy. do this thank you very much i will use a flask actually so margit the fell wasn't actually too bad of a fight i pretty much got some staggers off of him and played off of him letting sorcerer Rajier help me as well um overall wasn't a bad fight most of his hits actually weren't even a one shot but some of them were so i just i was able to use my flasks oh what the how did that hit someone tell me what even was that move I, I don't think I've ever seen that move. I'm not even gonna lie. This tail. Who is this man? That should have hit me. Boy, am I glad it did not. And there it is! 
Is that two tries, three tries, four tries? It was three tries, but oh well. Talisman pouch. Awesome. Alright. Once defeated, I then went back to the Church of Ella to meet Ronnie because she can spawn at night to get the spirit calling bell. And she also gives you wolf ashes, which are nice as well, and are I'm able to use them at level 1. There is also a lady close to the secluded cell grace point by Godric's area that you can talk to, and she will help you in this fight. So I do that, and then I was ready. Mighty dragon. There are the true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Well. That has got to be the most annoying thing about this. Alright. Come here, you big sack of hermit. Stop, 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 stop. That's right, boy. He's gonna come at me. No? Watch out, Hermit Crab. Or not, Hermit Crab. Oh my god, that sucks. That move sucks. Hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. Oh god. I don't like when he does that. Alright. Meanwhile, I'm just standing here watching him get his power up. <laughs> what? Why didn't he turn around? Go! Oh, run away! Run away! All right, we need to heal up. I am not taking the chance of me dying in some stupid way. As I was speaking, don't come at me. Whoa! Okay, got this, got this. That would have hit me if I didn't. Stop. Heal. Heal twice, he's almost dead. It's worth the fight. It's worth me not dying. Oh, I thought I just died. Okay. Let's go, jellyfish! You did so good, I'm so proud of you. Look at you. As he disappears with style. Thank you too. Warrior. Sweet. I think that was like two or three try not two. Maybe three or four. 
Sweet. Once Godric had been defeated, we needed a few more things to gather. Um, we then go here on the map to get our Physic Flask along with a tier thing that helps our health, which really doesn't matter. We then go here in Limgrave to get the first piece of the medallion, which helps us go up the lift. And then we go to Fort Faroth, Fort Faroth, however you say it, here on the map to uh, pretty much get the second piece. All right. There we go. There is the second piece of the Dectus Medallion. Now that we have both pieces, we can hoist the medallion, and we were ready for the next boss. Yeah, no, this fight wasn't going to work for me at level 1, so I go get Poison Mist at the bottom island of Limgrave, and then go here on the map at the Red Circle, where there is some ruins called Purified Ruins, and a secret chest inside and a secret talisman and this talisman actually raises our faith which allows us to use poison mist to uh to uh, skillfully beat the boss uh yeah what you want me to say? Just cause you people gon' get in my way. Don't mean I'm stopping on one of these days. One of these days, all of you others who from with the hate. Gonna be surprised by the look on my face when I'm running the place looking dumb in the face. Cause I'm down by the lake, having fun with your bay. But I'm a booty dude, I get all in my feelings on my couch or watching Scooby Doo. Got visualities inside my mind just like the movies do. But I'ma shun them out because I got no time for loot de loot. I'm loot too depressed, I got the blues, can't seem to get a clue. But I'ma try until the death of me because that's what I do. This world is foggy, wondering if you was seen it through. Just know that I am because my third eye is looking cool. I'm feeling too. I had on my business, I'm about to fool. The struggle's up, but still we keep it up. There he goes! Enemy film. I'm in disbelief. I actually can't believe it. Now that the tree sentinel is dead and gone, it's time to go into the capital. Oh wait, there's a gate blocking the capital, which means we need to beat another shard bear, aka Ranala or Radon. So I choose Ranala because she's the easier of the two. But first I wanted a weapon, you know? I was feeling a little left out in the weapon category i was using the bonk the whole game so we go back to fort faroth fort faroth and get a battle axe from the two twin maiden heads in the round table hold and that becomes my new main weapon for the time being most of the run actually and then it was off to ranala my weapon does good damage though It's just the, the dog's so swift, and I can't dodge stuff like that. Oh my god. Watch that. Watch those. Oh god. Oh, I needed that hit. I needed that so bad. Heal. Frost off. He's in the corner. Get him, dog. Oh, my dog killed him, dude. <laughs> Let's go. He absolutely deserves that. Alright, maybe I just need to frost stomp the, uh... So I just need to break the seal on these dudes. Okay, now she's falling. Go ahead and get rid of, like, all these people. They all suck. Alright, that's all. Oh god. Stop. Throwing books at me. Okay. 
now is where I hide behind a pillar. Because those little tombstone things will immediately kill me even on even on a uh, harder if I was leveled up. So I'll just let them things fly. Let them fly! Alright, I rolled. That was some BS. Please stop. Don't spawn that book! I told you. Is she falling? One more? Oh, I have no stam. And I missed. Don't risk it, don't risk it. Play smart. Don't be stupid, don't be stupid. Just doing it again. I don't know. Gonna shoot him? There it goes. Yeah, send them books at me. You can't really hide behind them bookshelves because they break. Alright, she's back here. I can hear her. Where are you at? Stop! You're so, you're so rude. You're so rude, dude! You're launching, you're launching books at me. I have the right to defend them. Two, and there's the third one. Don't get freaking shot by fire. Please. Okay. That cancels out the, uh... What am I locking on to? Okay, there it is. Run away. Uh, we'll go ahead and drink this. Have our dogs ready. We'll go ahead and do this. And I'll go ahead and stomp. Is she not dead? What? Uh oh. How did she not die? Shoot him. How did she not die? Alright, there's those. Get those out of the way. I'm actually a little bit confused of how she didn't die there, but that's cool. I guess this game loves to uh, be absolutely rude to me. Oh, sweet. Thank you. There you go. That's what you get. Okay. It is time or phase two. I think I might, uh, if it loads, man, she is long and lengthy, dude. Okay. I need my dogs now. That sucks, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. Get a dogs. Any day now. That was good. No, not my dogs. Okay, back up. Need to heal, need to heal, need to heal, need to heal. Let's see what my frost does. Nothing. Okay. Good to know. She loves these, uh, little, little blue orbs, doesn't she? Oh my god, dude. My dogs are lasting quite a while, which is very good. I can't hit her. I'm gonna do this. Dodge that thing.
That's what I was looking for, baby! Yeah! I'm actually gonna heal here. And there she is. Dead. Oh god, don't bite it. Oh, don't. <laughs> don't die by that now, please. I think that actually would have one hit me. Once Renala was defeated, we then need a new summon because our wolves were always dying to one hits from every boss here on out. And our jellyfish was just getting shredded by every boss as well. So then we go to Murkwater Catacombs located in Limgrave and beat the little mini boss in the catacomb. And he drops our new summon, which we use throughout most of the rest of the game, which is the Banished Knight. Um, pretty much, I upgrade this as much as I can with Ghost Gloveworths around the map. Um, we haven't beat Radon yet, so I'm not able to fully level him out, but I do get him to plus four or five, which helps out hugely. And at level one, you're actually unable to summon him in just because of the FP cost. He is like more FP than a level one can spawn in. So we then need to figure out a solution for that. So there's actually a dead Erd tree by the Volcano Manor that you can go to, and it spawns in this massive white worm. And over time, he eventually backs up, and you can pretty much sneak around, sneak beside him, and poison mist him, just like the tree sentinel. I hope a thought thinks, grows legs, maybe walks, blinks, get directions when you lost it, or living someone else when your mind gets a little overcrowded like a marsh pit, cause I ride a train, call the train of thought, or forever on a point of view, take it all the time and never stop, stop me and it could end in you, I ride a train, call the train of thought. So once I poison missed his rear end for 16 plus minutes, he then drops these two little bubble tears, but we just need this blue one. And this blue one pretty much eliminates all FP consumptions in our Physic Flask. So we put that in our Physic Flask, which means we are allowed to use the Banish Knight now, or it lets us spawn him in. And then after that, we go straight for Gold Godfrey.
Once we defeat Gold Godfrey, it was then time to head to the Radon fight, which I decided to fight next. One, to progress in Ronnie's questline, and two, because we needed to go to the Underworld to get more Ghost Gloveworths for our summons, such as the Banished Knight and the Black Knife Tiche. Now, out of all the times fighting Radon, I've never seen him go into, like, a Phase 2 animation twice. I've never, ever seen that happen out of all the times I've fought him. But he did, which was cool, I guess. Um, but pretty much, the Radon fight was awful, so I had to play on horseback and let the summons do all the work. The summon signs do respawn um, a couple of times. I'm not too sure how many times they do spawn. They eventually stop at a certain point. But for this fight, I pretty much play all on horseback and let the summons do the work for me. Alright, go get him, soldiers. Or not, he's just gonna keep attacking me. <laughs> get him! Oh my gosh! trouble. <laughs> oh, he's all out of heals, that poor guy. Poor me. So now with Radon defeated, and we then fight this Mimic boss, which was easy peasy, I pretty much just unequipped my weapons and, you know, you know how that boss goes. Um, easy fight. Now we are able to get more Ghost Gloveworths um, to pretty much max out our Banished Knight around Noxtella and Nokron. There we go. And we also then continue on in Ronnie's questline, defeating this red wolf dude. And which that means we are now left with a choice of fighting Estelle or Morga.
so probably Morga. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Behold thy king, Morgoth. Last of all kings. Let's go. I like the odds of beating this fight more than Estelle, for sure, as of now. Yes, aggro on me. Don't hit me. I said don't. All right, dodge that mess. Let's go ahead and break this stupid chair. There it is. Dodge that. Now we let our summons do some damage and take aggro. Look how much damage that did. Jesus. All right, give him frostbite. that. Oh, that could have killed us. Go ahead and charge up. Fill up on this thing. Or blue. Just gonna spawn in a tree. I'm sorry. He is taking damage from the tree, though. No, he's not. Is maybe I have no idea. That was scary. I was trapped in the corner, dude. Our Abigail needs to take aggro. Ross, we'll get him, dude. Stay away, Melina. No, 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 no. Dodge. That's my girl. Alright, get our stamina back. There it is. You missed that fully. I don't know what that is. I'm not moving. Take aggro. She's spawning in a freaking tree, dude. Alright. We'll go ahead and try to take aggro here. Hopefully they can get some damage in. Dodge that. 
Our Abigail is pretty full on health, so I might let them fight it out. Lena died. Abigail is pretty on health, though. I should have his aggro now. Yeah, dodge that. Run away. There it is. Morgoth has been defeated, baby! <laughs> oh my god. Once Morgoth had been defeated, I then rode 10 minutes straight on horseback just to get up to the fire giant. And I will fast forward this fight just because I'm pretty sure most of you don't want to sit for 15 plus minutes watching this one fight. Chopping a big tree down, dude. Alright, well, uh. Just gonna. Run all the way up here, real quick, and let him be angry. Let him be an angry boyo. Down there, because. This is where I want to fight up here, dude. That's what we're looking for there, dude. Jesus. Alright. Okay. Big slam, now is the time for a lot of damage. Let's just not move at all there. Okay. Sit back. Take a chill. Take a chill pill, real quick, dude. He's uh stumbling on that tree stump down there. All right. Those weren't even targeted on me and they almost killed me because they weren't targeted on me. I don't know why they weren't. Okay, now we, tra now we charge, now we charge. Let's play smart and leave. There it is. Oh! Holy, dude. We did it. I'm actually... I actually can't believe that. I actually cannot believe that. Ah! Let's go, dude. It's too easy. It's too easy. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. 
Holy smokes. shall burn. Burn for the sake of the new Lord. Thank you for guiding me here. The one who walks alongside flame shall one day meet the road of destined death. So we did it! We then beat the Fire Giant and we were on our way to Crumbling Faro Missoula. After beating the Fire Giant, I pretty much sped all the way through Crumbling Faro to get to the next uh, duo's boss. And I couldn't beat them no matter what I did, so I then had to come up with a strat that is a old, reliable strat. So we go to Lemgrave, get this book off a corpse sitting on a stone and yada yada yada. We craft up some sleeping pots, and with that, we then stood a chance against the Godskin duos. Okay, this is really good, because... We don't die. He is sleeped. Now we just gotta take out the skinny dude over here. Not die. Let's take aggro low for a minute. If we can. Okay, that's really good. We'll get him summoned. I'm staying completely out of this.
The dude's awake. Skinny dude's dead. Focus on the main. This dude has so much health, though. Try to take action. Alright, you should do... Stay up on this pedestal. Was close. I was super close. I was also really close. All right, he's dead. Let's drink one of these. Oh, I wasn't able to heal him. He's gonna try to heal my uh, my dude. That's huge. That is huge right there. Alright. Next up is the this dude. Go fight him, go fight him, go fight him, go fight him. Let's take aggro. Dodge there. other skinny dudes back now so we just need to watch that as well he's doing his roll I just have to stay up here now Let's go ahead and put you to sleep, bud. And there we go. Godskin duos defeated. I guess we will speedrun our way to Malakaf. Thou who approaches destined death. And so Malakaf it was. But there's one small issue with Malakaf. I couldn't beat him for the longest time. Every single move, even in his phase one and all of his phase two, Every single attack was a one hit on me. Um, his phase one wasn't the primary primary problem here. It was his phase two that I was struggling to learn out. There was just one or two moves that I just couldn't figure out no matter what I did. But luckily, there's a way to get one free hit on us. Down here on this map, exactly here on this Erd tree, there is a tree avatar. And when you kill the tree avatar, it then drops this little bubble and we can put that bubble inside of our physic flask which allows us to take one free hit and this is what helped me beat Malakaf. so you've probably already noticed that there's no audio 
and I do apologize that there is no audio, but I will at least explain, explain some of the strategies that I did to beat Malakaf in Phase 1 and Phase 2. For his Phase 1, I spawn in my summon using my little bubble flask with my unlimited FP, spawn in my summon dude, and let him take most of the damage. My main goal for Phase 1 was to not get hit a single time, because as soon as you get hit once, the, your bubble is gone. And I just wanted the safety net of me having the bubble going into Phase 2. Um, his Phase 1 attacks are very spammy, they're very fast. So, I was using my little Frostbite Stomp from a far distance, getting damage on him, and eventually Frostbiting him, um, just to get him into Phase 2. Um, our summon automatically dies in Phase 2. Malakaf is a summon destroyer in Phase 2. No summon, I, I don't even know. Summons just don't last in Phase 2. But his Phase 1 was pretty simple to get past. Um, just don't even get close. Don't risk anything. Don't get close at all. He will immediately turn on you and whack you in your face when you least expect it. Um, there's a few times I almost get hit, like, just then. <laughs> it's so funny to watch. It's so wild. Um, but you just have to stay far back and deal damage from afar. Um, at least I did, because I'm not that good at this game, okay? Um, but once we go into Phase 2, I will see you then. Phase 1 is pretty simple here on out. Congratulations, you've made it to phase 2. Time for you to die or get hit at least 20,000 times. Even with the bubble shield, I still somewhere in this fight get hit. And look at the height Malakaf gets. He jumps over the pillar. I have I can't exaggerate. Malakaf in phase 2 is just a summon destroyer. And like he's unavoidable to not get hit in phase 2, I swear. But, we do our best, we stay focused, I let the summon try to take damage whenever he can, but he's, he dies, I think, sometime soon, very soon, right now actually, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so I do get frostbite here, and there, right there, I got hit, and that bubble shield saved my life, okay, I, don't, I can't exaggerate this. That is the one time I get hit in this fight, and the bubble shield clutches up and saves my life. Okay, even with the bubble shield, I still somehow take a quarter quarter damage worth of health on my health bar, which is wild. I Screw you, bubble shield, not taking full hits for me. Um, you will see me doing frost stomps here and there. It's just to bait out a simpler attack. So right here, I think he's going to start walking, and I frost stomp. So then he turns aggro and starts charging at me, which allows him to run at me. And with that, he'll do like a simple a simple swing attack that I can easily dodge. Because I don't want Malakaf to be doing these wild maneuvers, okay? But I don't even know. This fight was a, a mess. It took so long. But we did it. We beat Malakaf, the Black Blade. Yo, it's never been about the money I'm looking for some fans that'll love me No matter who I am and no matter how I change No matter how I act or if I stay the same I'ma be the B. Rogers everybody knows Kicking out a track that you'll relate to when you're old And I don't make a song that you won't hear up in the club I'm just being real, isn't that what people love? If it isn't, should I even give a fuck? Cause I give a lot of things, but I'm not ever giving up I'm not looking for a cash flow I'm looking for a purpose Or at least a couple people that recite some of my verses The type that might be nervous when they meet me Couldn't help but smiling when they handed me a copy of my new CD They say they love my songs
not a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas. Once Sir Gideon was defeated, I then went here in Limgrave to get a new weapon, a weapon of bleed called the Uchi Katana, and this is located in the Death Touch catacombs, and also I could equip Frostbite to it with my Frost Stomp as well. So the next major boss was Godfrey the First Elder Lord, and he was too difficult for me, for my likings, he also shredded my Banished Knight Summon. So, the next step was to beat Estelle to finish off Ronnie's questline, and we can get the Black Knife Tiche.
with the final swing coming down on Estelle, he was now defeated, which means we were able to get up onto the plateau to fight the Black Knife Tish to get the Black Knife Tish summon. And this fight actually took longer than the Estelle fight because I was also a one shot, a two shot with the bubble, but a one shot in general. Um, and it was so tedious, I had to be so careful because of his movement. I pretty much had to wait till he was running at me and then turn around and do an overhead slash attack just to get one hit. Yeah, it's the simple things in life that make it all worth it. There's way more underneath the surface. We all fall down, that's gravity. Ain't nobody perfect, everything's gotta serve its own purpose. Yo, I see a sunny day, just the way that I like. I might pet around the neighborhood, vibing on life. Get the ice cream, man, I might stop for a bite. But then it's kickstand up and I'm right back on the bike. No hands, riding on the sidewalk, scooping with a little wooden spoon. Saturday, 20 June of 2015. The future's so much further than it seems. Still, I understand it's coming pretty soon. Savoring every scoop on this beautiful afternoon. Hear the birds singing all of the usual little tunes. Need a visual, several settled on different roofs singing songs and what sounded like various types of moods but i guess happy for the birds i'm just plenty happy here sitting on the curb finishing my ice cream and for what it's worth i'ma keep on doing this until i'm in the dirt yeah it's the simple things in life that make it all worth it there's way more underneath the surface we all fall down that's gravity ain't nobody perfect everything's gotta serve its own purpose yeah it's the simple things in life that make it all worth it there's way more underneath So once we defeated the Black Knife Tish and we got his summon, I then went to the round table hold to upgrade it pretty much to max since we had the Ghost Gloveworths from earlier. And then there was something that I needed to do, a storyline that I needed to fulfill and a quest that I needed to complete that I feel every Elden Ring runner should do. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon 
my name as Godfrey. The first Elden Lord. I've given thee courtesy enough. <sighs> now I fight just horror loot.
the final few bosses being defeated, Godfrey, Radagon, and the Elden Beast, Elden Ring was over. I had beat Elden Ring at level 1. The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall an age of fracture. If you made it to the end and made it this far, I do just want to say a huge thank you, like a massive thank you from the most inner part of my heart, because it does mean a lot when my content is good and that you enjoyed my content. It does mean a lot to me um, knowing that you watched it to this point, or even if, you know, you skipped to it, hi, <laughs> that's fine too. Um, I do know it was a long video, probably the longest video I've made. Um, and I do want to say that if there's a certain boss that you were looking for, just put it in the comments. I already know one of those bosses might be, you know, it might be the hardest boss in the game. And I'm just going to say I'm working on that one. It's going to be, it's going to be a little bit because I have to get there first and then I have to beat that, that so-called boss, you know. Um, so it might be a little bit on that one. And you can watch. Uh, just as a little bit of self-promotion, since I have never self-promoted myself and never done this before. Um, you can follow me on Twitch. My Twitch is twitch.tv slash onion. Or you can just go down in the description, two seconds, click on it, give it a follow. You know, maybe you go to bed watching Twitch, um, which is what I usually do, or watching videos, you know. Um, but yeah, you can you can watch me watch what I'm currently doing in the gaming world, you know. Um, and if you guys want to see another run, maybe put it in the comments, let me know. I probably will do another run just because I love this game. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to say thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed. This video took... This game, this game took a long time to beat at level 1, and this video took equally as long, if not longer. Um... But yeah, I do just want to say thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. I know we're
boom bap back, bringing truth to the mat. Cause the whole world coding, ain't no one the hero. Even Ernie wants to rob Bert like De Niro, but I know we're plenty better than that. That's why boom bap's back, bringing hope to the mat. Yeah.